Now, Governor Tony Evers says a lawsuit from Republican lawmakers to block his safer at home order will put lives at risk. In a response filed late this afternoon, he asked the state Supreme Court to toss that lawsuit. Tom Durian breaks down the argument for the order to stay in place. Tom. In the 70 page response filed with the state Supreme Court Tuesday, State Attorney General Josh Call lays out the argument for keeping the Evers administration's extended safer at home order intact. Frankly, read some horrible things in this day, but this lawsuit is something else. That was the governor's initial response to the lawsuit last week. Republicans said they wanted the legislature to be part of the conversation. He's been listening to Andrea Paul and health officials, and he hasn't really allowed for the legislature to have a seat at the table. In today's response, the Evers administration said the typical rulemaking process would take too long in the midst of a pandemic, saying, quote, even the quickest version of rulemaking takes weeks. Compare that with the first safer at home order. It was issued in response to modeling that showed with approximately three days warning, Wisconsin had to act to halt the uncontrolled spread of COVID-19. The administration says back then the number of people People testing positive was doubling every three days. That has slowed to around every 12 days under safer at home. Republicans also cited an overreach of DHS Secretary designee Andrea Palm's powers to implement the order. Today's response says there is an undisputed emergency and an unquestioned need to control communicable disease. The statutes vest broad powers in DHS to combat this rare statewide threat. Attorney General Call also points to April 27th's new guidelines to allow more businesses to open. Any order has to strike a balance. If we close too few businesses, COVID-19 could continue to spread like wildfire around the state and our health care system would be overwhelmed. So today's response was accompanied by legal statements from health experts and others. The Republican led legislature now has until Thursday at 4 p.m. to respond to this. The Supreme Court has not said if they will hear oral arguments in this case.